What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to do my first comparison of the all new Storm Night Road and we're going to be comparing it to the Storm High Road Pearl. Two road series balls with pearl cover stocks. What's the similarities? What are the differences? Stick around to find out. So, so make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Then if you like this jersey guys, as always, make sure to go to coolbake.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10 That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order a High Road Pearl or a Night Road or anything bowling related. That is the absolute best way to help support the channel. Okay, so the all new Night Road and one of the GOAT bowling balls, the High Road Pearl. What are some of the similarities? What are some of the differences? So when we start talking about the tech, both of these bowling balls feature the exact same core, the inverted FE squared technology core which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.57 and a max differential of 0.046. That's a very high RG, that, which means that in theory, the ball should be very, very clean through the fronts. And then the differential being 0.046 is kind of like in that middle, medium to high. So it's gonna flare a little bit of a mouth. So that, that's basically one of the similarities. Now, the big difference is that the High Road Pearl features the R2S Pearl cover stock while the Night Road features the REX Pearl cover stock. Well, damn, Lewis, what's the difference? R2S, REX. Well, I'm gonna tell you. The R2S Pearl cover stock is a very clean through the fronts, very boomy cover stock. The REX is a hybrid pearl of sorts, and, and I, I do this because it features half R2S Pearl cover stock and half nanotechnology cover stock. So it's gonna be a very strong formula mixed in with a very weaker cover stock. So what I'm expecting the differences to be between the High Road Pearl and the Night Road is that the Night Road's gonna be a little bit earlier, a little bit smoother, and in my testing so far, I've noticed that having the Night Road in my bag allows me to get into a High Road Pearl type of ball reaction just a little bit sooner because of that stronger cover stock. So I'm gonna be here on lane two on a fresh, typical house shot, just for the fresh, fresh for the first group of shots. Just like in the original review I did for the Night Road, most of this review is going to be done on the transition lane because that's the situations when most people would go to something like a High Road Pearl, like a Night Road. Let me know down below in the comments what other balls you would like to see compared to this Night Road. And then let me know if you're excited for the Night Road. So I'll see you guys on the lanes here. All right, first shot of the video here comparing the Night Road to the High Road Pearl. And I'm going to start straighter because these balls typically don't look amazing on the fresh. And then every time I say that, it looks so good. Yeah, that, I'm so surprised how good that last shot looked. Let's, uh, let's repeat a couple good ones then. Yeah, that last shot was really bad. It tracked over my fingers and my thumb, fell off balance. Let's just be better here. Like that, I'm happy with that. Yeah throw it like that every time. All right, same spot now with the High Road Pearl. I'm expecting cleaner and more pop down lane. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what just happened. Yeah, the weaker cover that close to the friction is just gonna make it take off. So let's move in a little bit and see how it looks. There we go. Yeah, I think that little move in really tamed down that down lane reaction on the high road pearl. Ooh! All right, now for the sake of the comparison, I'm gonna go back to the night road, same spot I was just at with the high road pearl. Wow, that, that hooked a lot, I might have missed in. Yeah, I definitely missed in on that shot. So same spot, just make sure I feed it into the friction a little bit more. See how that looks? Bang, bang. Yeah, the Night Road just feels like a smoother version of the High Road Pearl. So last shot here, the Night Road on the fresh. All right, back in the high road pearl, three more shots in the fresh, then we'll go to that transition lane. Missed in again. 
Yeah, my shoulder really opened up on that one. So let's close that up, make a good shot. Two more shots here on the fresh, and then we'll go to that transition lane. Good shot there. Wow, that went high. No, Tim, don't worry about it. You don't All right, last shot on the fresh here with the High Road Pearl. And then, like I said, we'll take it over to that transition lane. Good shot there. All right, so now we're all done on the fresh comparing the all new Night Road to the High Road Pearl. The biggest differences that I saw was that the Night Road tended to be a little bit earlier and a little bit smoother, maybe even a little bit stronger than the High Road Pearl. But I think that that's A, by design, and B, a good thing. Sometimes the High Road Pearl, I have to go to it so late in the block late into game three i bowl a four game league so late into game four and sometimes i need to get out of the ball that i'm in and i think faster than what than when the high road pearl is ready and i think that the night road will fill that gap it'll allow me to that in between between whatever ball i'm in and the high road pearl and i hope that kind of makes sense and then we didn't talk about the layout the layout on both of them is exactly the same 30 by 4 by 30 as always if I don't say it in the video, you guys ask. So I'm just gonna say it every single video. All my symmetrical balls are 30 by four by 30. So now we're gonna go to lane one, which is a nice and transition lane. I just got done shooting the phase two Idol Cosmos benchmark type ball reaction video. So that you guys know that that lane is nice and toasty, nice and transitioned. Kind of like a situation when I would go to something like the Night Road and or the High Road Pearl. So let's get on lane one now and see how these bowling balls look. All right, first shot here with the night road. And we're just gonna take a guess at first to see where we need to play and then I'll make an adjustment accordingly. I think that's a pretty good guess. Let's move in a little bit. So I'm gonna go two boards in off that wrap 10 and see how this looks here. Okay, two boards was good. All right, one more shot with the Night Road from there, then we'll go to the High Road Pearl, see what the differences are on the burn. Got that one right there. Ooh! All right, this is the High Road Pearl from the same spot I was just at with the Night Road. Yeah, the whole time, just longer, quicker down lane. I'm actually gonna go to the same spot one more time because that was also a half a mile an hour slower. So let's get one at the right speed and then we'll see. Yeah, that one felt more the right speed. Okay, okay. All right, so the biggest difference is the shape. The shape is the biggest difference. Missed in a little bit there. Oh yeah, that pearl, oh my God, that's so clean. All right, back in the night road, gonna stay in the same spot because I think both of them look, are still looking really good from here. Missed in by a mile. See, that one hooked. When I missed in with the high road pearl, it didn't. All right, let's make sure we open up here and get this one going into the friction. There we go. Yeah, when I get this going right into the friction, it just looks so good. I just tried to do five steps and then went back, went four steps. Oh my God. I don't know what just happened. I tried to do five steps, backed up, went four. So one more good shot here with the Night Road, then we'll go back to the High Road Pearl. Yeah, that last shot definitely had some oomph to it. Oh, the pesky four pin. All right, gonna chase both of these a little left now. Still in the high road pearl though. That's not a foul, but I threw it terrible, so who cares? All right, last shot here before we go to the desk. Wow, 
to throw it so bad. So the biggest differences I'm seeing between the Night Road and the High Road Pearl is a shape difference. Strength level, they're at least close enough that it's almost negligible to even bring up. But the shape is the big, big thing. When I miss in with the High Road Pearl, it just scoots through the fronts forever. But when I miss in with the Night Road, because it has a little bit stronger of a formula, it wants to pick up a little bit more. Now, granted, it is not an early ball by any stretch of the imagination. But when we compare it to another bowling ball, one of them just has to be the earlier one of the two. And I think that's the Night Road. So now I'm going to get back on the lanes and I'm going to move even further left into where that High Road Pearl territory is typically really, really good. And we're just going to see what happens so far. On the fresh, I think I'm team night road all the way. And then so far on the burn, I think I'm torn at least 50-50. But like, just like comparing anything to a phase two, a high road pearl, a zen, comparing anything to those kind of bowling balls is always gonna be very tough because of the nature of how good the high road pearl is. So let's get back on the lanes. All right, now in the night road, and like I said, just gonna keep chasing it left and see how this looks here. Oh, good shot. I'm just still so shocked that this ball shares the same cover stock as one of my least favorite balls ever. All right, one more shot here with the night road and then we'll go to the high road pearl. All right, same spot here with the High Road Pearl. Miss right, for sure. It's gonna come around. Oh, if only would have kicked out that 10. I definitely don't wanna miss that far to the right. Let's see here what happens now. That's a really good shot there. All right, one more here with the High Road Pearl, then we'll go back to the Night Road and actually chase them both left a little bit. Missed in by a mile. That's so bad. All right, a little bit further left still here. And see how this looks. Oh, why couldn't that 10 fall? All right, I'm gonna move like one or two right here, see if I can get it to be a little bit more flush and not flat 10 again. Okay, let's go in between those two shots now. Okay, let's try to get somewhere in between those two. I mean, flat 10, blower four. Let's see if we can get lucky here and get a good strike from this far left. That's gonna be it right there. Oh! Okay, so I went flat 10, four pin, nine pin. Now I'm pissed off, not really. But I'm going to challenge myself to throw a strike from here with the night road before I move on. That's it. All right, same spot here with the high road pearl. This one should have no problem striking from here because of how much cleaner it is through the fronts. Yeah, like that's going to strike. I mean, you could just you just know. Yeah, the high road pearl from this far left is just, it's just silly good. All right, last shot of the video is going to be in the night road from that same spot. I noticed that the high road pearl, I got it going right. And I don't think I got the night road really far right. So let's try this here. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so it's the high row pearls way cleaner. All right, well, there you have it. There is my in-depth comparison between the high road pearl, which is an all-time great bowling ball, and the all-new night road. And like I've been saying throughout this entire video, I think the biggest differences was from a shape perspective, not so much a strength perspective. The high road pearl pretty much the entire time on the fresh, on the burn, was significantly cleaner through the fronts more pop down lane than that night road. And for me, I played three, basically three zones this entire video. 
on the fresh from a little bit straighter i think hands down that went to the night road then kind of that first transitional uh, part of the lane i think the night road also took that one and then when i got far far enough left the high road pearl just far and away dominated that part of the lane and I, I would like to believe that you guys would agree with me on that assessment of those three zones so let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this comparison and what other balls you would like to see compared to the night road i'm for sure going to do like the uh wolverine dark moss i'm for sure going to do the high road because it also shares that same core but other than that let me know what else you guys would like to see thank you guys so much for all the love all the support my wife and my son oliver incredibly much so appreciate it click right here to watch another one of my videos click right here to subscribe if this tape hits the camera you have to subscribe oh